flipping heck. Told you it was cold this morning. The trip wasn't wasted. Hey, guy, give me a wee tenner, good lad. There it goes. Get it round. To me. That's it, to you now. To me. To you. To me. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a bee. Big break down. It's a drill working there. Well, it truly feels like winter now. It is Baltic cold. It is oh, chilly. Anyway, wrapped up. We're fine. We've got another demo coming today. I think the New Holland demo will be going away again. I didn't really cover a, a huge lot with the New Holland one because the transmission was the only different thing on it. So the demo that's coming today, green. But that'll be turning up at about 9 o'clock. So we've got a look around that. And we've also got a Vulture coming tomorrow. Ah, we've got a few to trial and test. And, give them a fair crack. It's quite good being able to have the demos for more than just a day. The, the first two demos we've had, the class and the new hauls, we've had them for a kind of three, four days. Basically Kev went out for a day or two with both of them ploughing and then I took them, took them for a spin along the road with a track down trailer, doing a few jobs I was needing to do, kind of see what they like on the road, see what they like pulling a trailer. So it's handy being able to have them for more than just a day. It's a lovely day though. Same as yesterday, dead still. It's the combination that's the killer of the rain, the wind, and the cold. Individually, they're fine. Cold day like this, still though and dry, take that. Yeah. Yeah. I've still got to give the coos a wee bit of grub, but um, Kev's just taking the wee van in to get an MOT, so I need to go and pick them up from there. Oh, it's a cracker. Told you it was cold this morning. Today's entertainment, uh, the car on its side. Just coming back from the garage with okay, Kevin. The car on its side. It's not, that wasn't there when we headed out, so we stopped, pulled in, started walking back. Oh, here's our boy trying to climb out of the car. Anyway, it was all right. Um, he was forgetting us just to push it over and drive off again. I was like, call the recovery man. Kind of came round the nice CS corner. It must have been going at a decent speed because it wasn't too bad when I went round it a couple of times. There you go, big green machine. Seems a good piece of kit anyway. Um, Kev's out with GPS guy. I've just been talking to the sales guy for a while. Anyway, I need to go and help Doogie join a fit of windy in there. Swing it round. To me. Swing it round. To me. That's it. To you now. To me. To you. To me. To you. To me. That's it. What the heck? Oh, if you just sit it up. <clears throat> you have to start me. One window. Monday are 655R. So far, Kev's out now with a plough in it, but they've brought out uh, the dealer as well. The dealer, I've been speaking to him for a while. Um, and also a guy, I can't remember his name, um, he's kind of running through everything uh, GPS wise and setting up the in uh, internals when you're actually using it, which is quite good. Just been out there for about an hour and a half with Kev, showing him everything and going through it all just to make sure we can kind of use quite a few of the bits and get used to it and test them. Never had a John Deere or much other than New Holland, so they've shown us the kind of even just the basics on the tractor is handy to know because you end up not having a clue how one of these things because you're used to doing it for this, the same way for years so they're explaining everything quite well there's enough there's that much information i've forgotten the stuff at the very start so wait in a wee bit and um, jump in the cab with kev um, and just see how he's getting on with it and um, i'll probably actually use it tomorrow i'll jump in it tomorrow give up where i'll with a trailer and um, we need to find a job i'm needing to do with a trailer because i don't just want to drive along the road and back with a trailer so we'll find out what to do with that they're quite open to the fact that It'll be more expensive than um, the comparative tractors that we've been looking at already. 90% of the tractors they do, plus um, varial gearboxes, which was interesting, I didn't think that. And then that also leads to the demand for the second hand non varial options is reduced. So I don't know if you'd pick a varial gearbox on it, you probably would, um, just so then it holds that value later on down the line. 
um, GPS systems, the tractor that's actually out in the demo is all GPS ready and set up so we get to use that which is quite good and we'd obviously be using our own signal, uh, our mobile, our SIM card signal via RTKF which we'll, they're happy to do integrate into the system as well so there it goes I'm not sure on the power the dealer's saying um, they compare the kind of power the way the way John Deere um, say about the power it takes into account all the auxiliaries whereas New Holland 165 boost to 210 that's purely engine so I don't know I don't know how to compare if you've got any information on that put it down below looks nice though uh, how do we go in it there I'm not gonna lie it's quite nice anyway I'll leave it for now I'll get a shot of it this evening or tomorrow I'll have a whirl in it and I'll tell you more about it and go through a few bits but okay, I'm just gonna have a play with it ground's dried up quite a lot actually um, I mean I'm getting in and out here no issues this bit down here see that strip that we've left same in that field we're gonna do a bit of drainage down here you can see the water once that car gets out of the way lying down there then um, that kind of water just comes down the field to be honest and it's not a great bit for getting the water away from so we're gonna do some drainage in here right I could do with getting some actual work done so I need to bed these cattle uh, I was hoping to get that done before the John Deere arrived but I didn't Come on, the road, come on. Happy cows. Hey. We've not got a bed or anything like that. We don't have enough to justify buying a bed anyway, but it's good to be able to get in about them because they just get used to you. The idea is when they're calving and you're trying to get in just to see, make sure everything's all right, they're not then just getting a bit stirred up because you're there. They're used to you being there and it's normal, so it's good in that sense, but you still have to roll out the bales. Right, I'm doing my good deeds for the week. AA boys turned up asking if we can help pull a wee car out. He can't get his van and I don't know. Anyway, I've said yes. So I'll go up and see what's happening. I think there's a wee car stuck somewhere, so it'll only take 10 minutes. The only thing is, I've made sure if I was to cause any damage pulling out, I'm not liable, so he's going to sign that form to say it's not on me. <sighs> Flipping heck, I arrived, he's managed to get himself out. 20 to 4 now. He's been there since 11 apparently. And then the five minutes between the AA boy turning up asking for a hand and me arriving, he's got himself out. I don't know what the hell he's doing up here But it's nothing to do with me, so I'll just turn around Jesus He's done what we had to get out to be fair The bottom will be a gutters in his car, look That's all been scraped by the bottom of his car His, his van PT Make sure I can get out of here I'll need cleaned a wee bit Anyway, I'm way back home, I'll take that as a good deed because I tried to help the trip wasn't wasted The AA guy gave me a wee tenner, good lad I'll, uh, I'll not bother showing his van or his number plate. I did record it, but I'll get rid of that because I don't know, these big companies will probably sack him for getting a hand from someone. Just leave his straps there next to his van, which you're not seeing much of it. This is where we are relative to home. There's a shed there. It's only five minutes. The guy in the van's been there for five hours. Right, the sheep that went away to get pregnant I'm just going to go and pick them up, so livestock trailer again Off and on and off and on between the flatbed and the livestock trailer Get in there. Brains behind the operation, certainly not me Right, I'm just back with these sheep now <laughs> Ken's obviously wanting to do overtime in that John Deere because he's usually away by now Must be loving it Come on then sheep Go, go, go. Plastic. <sighs> no one the meat in that. Anyway, hope they're in lamb. Here come their pals. Here he comes. Hey, dog. 
I spoke to him there, he likes it. <laughs> you can, you can see where the difference in price is between that and the, the other machines we've been testing and trying and whatnot. Um, but yeah, there's a big difference in price. So. Anyway, we won't be making a decision today, so we'll get it used tomorrow, see how I get on that. Nice night again, same again. <laughs>